And throughout the whole day, the only thing I'm asking from you is total silence when somebody is speaking. Can we do that? Are we able to do that? Because if we're not quiet, we won't be, we won't, we, we're not going to be able to listen, right? And if we don't listen what's being, to what's being said here, what's the point, right? Right? So we are going to listen because there's a lot to be learned today. And uh, at this point, I would like to introduce Dr. Evan Auguste. Evan Auguste is a PhD student in clinical psychology, specializing in forensic psychology at Fordham University. Is the Eastern graduate rep for the Association of Black Psychologists and currently does research on the impact of discrimination on trauma and justice involved in adolescents, right? Good. I hope I did you justice. Please, a warm welcome for Evan Ogis. Come on, come on, come on. A warmer, we can do better than that. Come on, come on, come on. We can do way better than that. Thank you. How's everybody doing? I need to take this little podium that I did not memorize my speech. But it's going to be all right. Okay, good morning. I know everybody's tired, so I'm tired too. I feel it. I was going to try to do this in Creole, but uh, my, my Creole is not, not that good. So we're going to do this in English. Uh, so this is a pretty exciting uh, time for me. Uh, the youth rally is really important, but uh, I'll be lying if I didn't say I was also really excited about the Black Panther movie that just came out. Um, I hope everybody got tickets and everybody's getting, getting ready to be spending their night doing that because it's one of the more important things um, for me. Um, you know, I feel a little bit more personally invested in the movie because growing up uh, after middle school and after high school and after, uh, after church, uh, my dad used to take me to the comic book store um, just every, every Sunday. And it was maybe a little bit of incentive, but my go-tos after Sunday every, every week were to get you know, the X-Men, the Avengers, and, and Black Panther. Um, he was incredible to me because it was like there was nothing he couldn't do. Uh, he seemed like a Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, and Mansa Musa wrapped into one kind of pan-African warrior king. And one of my favorite stories about him involved, you know, two worlds, two Earths about to, about to collide and like destroy the entire universe. It was a little dramatic, but it, it captivated me. And there's this scene where you know, Black Panther T'Challa is sitting at this table with all the spirits and all the ancestors and every Black Panther that came before him, and everybody's deliberating on how we should proceed. You know, should he do this to protect the kingdom? Should he do that? And he's sweating, overcome with the gravity of these two worlds about to collide. And he has some of the strongest, wisest, and most respected people in his nation's history having a heated debate on the decision that he, he, he should make. And at the climax, he kind of looks at all of them, and he says, I'm my own person, I'm going to go in my own direction. And the ability to do that you know, for the first time, is kind of what adolescence is. So, to take it in a little bit more psychology direction, because I am a PhD student in psychology, according to Eric Erickson, a developmental psychologist from the mid to late 20th century, adolescence represents a period of time of intense introspection. You know, it's the stage in which people actively and purposefully critique what they've been taught, and how they've been taught, and who has taught them, and many of the aspects of their identity. Um, it's the stage at which you def it's, it's, it's the stage at which, for the first time, you question the figures, the industries, the moments, and, and the culture that you were raised in. And it's, a t it's a time when some people begin to take a little bit more ownership uh, in the course of their life, and, and it's not particularly uh, an easy thing to do. You know, I know as a young adult, it hasn't been uh, it wasn't easy for me, and as a college counselor, I, had, I know it hasn't gotten any easier. 
for the teenagers today. Um, adolescence is the time when we see an uptick in certain disorders like depression. And adolescence is the time when we see, on a neurobiological level, the memories formed during adolescence are some of the more salient and impactful memories that are experienced over the course of your entire lifetime. So what you're experiencing, what you're going through right now, are some of the events that are going to stay with you for the, uh, your entire life. Uh, so it's during adolescence that we begin to question so much of what we know and feel the emotional weight of that inquiry intensely. Uh, supposedly this period ends somewhere around 18, 19, but of course most of us are still growing and changing after that. And I think it would be a little bit arrogant of me to act that I figured out my place in the world or my purpose. Uh, however, there are a few decisions I've made that help me feel like I'm on a little bit of the, the right path. Uh, so last year, as, as I mentioned in the intro, I joined the Association of Black Psychologists. And I currently serve as the East Term graduate rep for, the, for their student survey. Uh, while at the annual conference, I was introduced to the concept of Africana psychology. So according to Halford Fairchild, African psychology focused on the physical, psychological, and spiritual nature of humanity. Now there are entire books on this subject, and as a student I'm still learning more and more about it every day. Um, but for me, their, their idea of interconnectedness and understanding the individual, the individual in the social and historical context was extremely important for me and how I currently study psychology. Uh, you know, after embracing that concept, I began to reflect on more than just my own personal narrative, but on the narrative of experiences of my family members. You know, of, of my father, who's sitting in the crowd right here. He's a, an onco uh, oncologist, uh, born and raised in Cape Asian. My mother, who is a social worker, born and raised in Virginia. Uh, my brothers, my aunts, my uncles, my grandfathers, my grandmothers, those that are with me now, those, uh, some of whom are no longer uh, with me in addition. And kind of understanding that as I was arriving at my own path, my own narrative, it was inextric inextricably linked to their narratives and how they navigated their lives. And as I started thinking critically and practicing my own independence, I realized that by understanding and taking into account their histories and their narratives, my own path became a little bit more clearer. Um, so going back to that scene with Black Panther, there was, this, there was that sense that he had in, in the comic book that he couldn't allow the people that came before him to decide how he, how he would move through the world and how, and, and how he would uh, walk through his life. But what became more valuable was having that conversation and talking to the ones that came before him and informing the decision you know, based on their experiences. So if you need to question who you are, where you're from, and what you want in your life, I think one piece of information uh, that I could offer that can make it a little bit easier is to understand that Nothing that you do, none of the decisions that you're making, uh, you're not doing that alone. Uh, thank you.